you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Oh my word. <laughs> This is fine. This is no, no like this is fine, right? This is fine. But what like okay, so where are the where's like is there like somebody taking pictures? All right, hey guys, Tommy Bryson here. Welcome to the Tommy Bryson show. And today you guys know, you guys know, you guys know this, okay? I love tips on saving money. It's one of my things, okay? I love saving money, so why not take advantage from people that save money? However, there's a show, it's called TLC, where they have a show called Extreme cheap steaks, okay? People that are very, very extremely cheap, okay? So they do the craziest things to go ahead and save money. So today we're gonna find exactly what tips do these people have to actually go out there and save some money and we're gonna watch this together. And by the way, if you have a weak stomach, do not watch this video or at least have a bucket next to you because you never know what you're gonna see with this show, okay? People do crazy things very cringe stuff, okay? So let's find out exactly what's going on here. If you guys are new here, I post videos every single day. So you should also subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified, and on top of also destroying the like button. Without further ado, let's find out some tips on saving money, okay? All right, let's do it. <laughs> Before I leave, I turn off all the electricity at the circuit breaker. Even Oh, I've never thought about that, but that's not actually like, Okay, guys, so, so far, we're starting out pretty small, okay? This is actually not that bad at all. Like, you turn off all the lights. No, 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 no. Turn off the electricity at the circuit breaker. That way, nothing is being fed electricity. Even though I'm not using my appliances, they're still sucking up. Oh, look at this lady. Very fancy, very fancy. She's like um one of those flight attendants, right? Wow, very fancy. And flight attendants, by the way, usually are high maintenance because you have to look basically, you know, you're representing the airline. So you got to look electricity. Good. Standby power can draw as much as 250 watts a day from May. Sheesh, it does make sense, you know. And again, she is doing what she's doing, right? So basically, she is on a plane, comes back maybe once a week home. So this does make sense. I'm not really that mad about your appliances by cutting the electricity to everything but the refrigerator. Stephanie saves an average of $30 a month on her electric. Not bad, guys. Am I going to be mad about saving $30 a month? I am not mad whatsoever. Plus, he doesn't have any kids, right? So nobody else in the house needs electricity. So I don't I don't really mind that at all. Honestly, pretty good. Bill. When the passengers leave the plane, I go through and check for a meal that's left by a pilot or a passenger. Stephanie's eye. A little weird, but honestly, right, if... You know, it's free food. You know what I mean? Like, I used to be very picky about this stuff, but again, it's, it's not like they took a bite out of it and then she's eating the bite with that stranger. No, she's basically taking food from her job and bringing it back home. When I had a job, I would always just basically, hey, if we have food, leftover pizza, leftover whatever we bought, I would grab that pizza, take it home. But am I gonna eat your food? Like the, the one that you took all the bites from? Obviously not, right? Obviously not. The fine dining is bringing home with the airlines left. Yo, she got a lot of sandwiches in there. I'm not gonna hold you. But um, that's too much, okay, guys? You got to take care of your body. You got to respect yourself. This is a little bit too insane. Look at this. So you got like 15 sandwiches in there, Over. Bro. We open up a refrigerator, and it looks like a deli. The food. <laughs> it does look like a deli, man. I, I can't deal with this, man. You got to you gotta take care of your body. I am willing to invest $250 or 200, 250 on my body every single month, okay? So that means the gym... That means an application to actually work out. That means also my groceries. You know, body is very important. Body, mind, and soul, you only get one of those. Take care of them. Food is perishable items. They're gonna throw it away if I don't take it home and eat it. But some things you just shouldn't be eating whatsoever. You know, if it's like a healthy meal, it's like kind of like if your friend gives you like a donut, he's gonna throw it away, but do you need it? I'm good. I'm saving myself about $15 on every meal. She does have oranges and nuts <laughs> and, and fruits, so not, not, not that bad. First class, they serve mixed nuts. In main cabin, they serve the regular nuts. Ooh, this is why I always travel first class. It's all about the mixed nuts, okay? I am willing to pay $1,000 for some mixed nuts. It's crazy what people pay, huh? And all you really get in first class is a little bit more leg room, and you feel a little bit more fancy, obviously. And it's also like a, a status symbol and you get some mixed nuts. And is that worth the price? The answer is no. I've never flown first class by the only once when I was, um, I was, I think it was like 12 or nine. I'm not sure. 
But I remember my mom sent me um, to see my grandma. And she, was, she wasn't coming with me. So I had a flight attendant take care of me. And she sat me down in first class, I think. But back then, first class was literally just a fancy chair with extra leg room. And I didn't even eat nuts back then, so nah. Now, if they're un- Bro, look at this, bro. She got a whole bag of nuts. Open, you're not allowed to take them. But of course, if they're open, I bag them up. I bring them home. Wait, what? In Hold cabin, up. they serve the regular. I think she said if they're open, you're you're not you're, you're allowed to take them. If they're unopened, you can't take them. Now, if they're unopened, you're not allowed to take them. If they're unopened, meaning they're not open, you can't take them. So these nuts came from somebody else's mouth, okay? No, 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 no. But of course, if they're open, I bag them up, I bring them home. I'm not doing that, A jar of mixed nuts is about $8. I don't have to pay for them. <laughs> Ugh. They're good for snacking, and they're really good for protein. That's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> At least my man's here. We're, we're on the same page here, man. We're on the same page. I don't know what to tell you. Um, oh. It's my wife. It's what I deal with, okay? I'm sorry. I wonder, though, right? This doesn't make any sense. I don't know if that's like her brother or her husband, because if she's at work, right, flight attendant, and she, and she shuts down all the power, is he not allowed to turn it on? A little confusing here. I don't know what's going on here, but we, we need more information. They're still good. They didn't touch them. If mm, they, didn't touch they were going to touch them, they probably would have eaten them. Whether they're stale or good, she will continue to eat them until they're all gone. <laughs> Not good. The covers that go on the airline pillows are thrown away at the end of the day. Reuse old pillow co cover. Uh, um, that's not that bad, honestly. This shouldn't be thrown away. It should be recycled, most likely, to like maybe make clothes for people um, and so on. But no. Uh, that's most here. flight attendants don't want those dirty pillows, but I found good use for them. What does she use them for? Why is she putting it in a pot, bro? Before I do anything, I make sure that I boil them down. By boiling the pillow covers, you're basically sanitizing them, getting- Yeah, I mean, you are, you, or you could just take it to the laundry, but then I guess the big thing is like, I'm not gonna waste water and light electricity and all that stuff. So she boils it. Okay. Get rid of any germs or lice or anything that passengers might have left behind. These are the ones that have already dried. What I do with them is I cut them into little triangles. Oh my gosh. People are so in, 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 in is it called it in doing it? it? Basically very creative. They make, voila, the perfect coffee filter. These pillowcase oh, I see. coffee filters save Stephanie about $6 a year. And she's <laughs> $6 a year. You know, there's a saying, you know, you can only cut so far until you start bleeding, but you can basically raise and increase your income. When you're this creative for all these things, you can use this like um this little, you know, this surge to basically make, maybe, maybe make a channel about this thing, make a product about what you're like teaching, or maybe for example, like get another job or maybe go to school and just like increase your income, you know? $6 for all this work and boiling and all this stuff. He's able to save even more with the pillows themselves. Use airline pillows, make comfy bedding. Okay. What I've determined is to make the perfect fluffy pillow, you need four little airline pillows. You have wedding dress. She got a whole system. Look at him. He's he's so embarrassed, guys. He's so embarrassed. He shouldn't be though, right? Because I've seen shows here where people are a lot more worse. So all she does is she eats use nuts. <laughs> I'm so immature. All she does is she eats use nuts and and um and she <laughs> and she uses pillows. You know, <sighs> not that bad. Not that, not that crazy. Not, not compared to what we've seen so far. We do wedding dresses and men's suits are just on down the aisle. Okay. Thanks, ladies. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's her husband, guys. <laughs> that's, that's, that's her. Dun, 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 dun. Cheap wedding archer can be picked up at secondhand shops. Oh, okay. Okay. Do I mind? Okay, the answer is, this is something I really don't know. You know, as somebody that's going to get married soon and so on, would it be a problem for your fiance, your loved one, whoever it is, to actually go ahead and buy a used wedding dress. I mean, they only wear them once. Think about that, right? So is it really that bad? 
You know, guys, I'm starting to think I belong in this show because I really don't find anything wrong with it, okay? Honestly, like, do you find something wrong with this? Let me know. Let me know. Honestly, just let me know. Oh, I'm aware. That's what it is. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my God, it's a tux needle in here. Oh, that is my size. 42? Yeah. 55 bucks for a tux? You can't beat it. It's Ooh, honestly, guys? <laughs> you know... I read this book and it talked about basically rich people and the things they buy. And they said usually rich people, well, I'm talking about wealthy people that are not like the rich people that you probably think of, like they're not the rappers, no, like the like the not, like the average millionaire. They buy like a tux or a good suit for like two, three hundred dollars, always at a massive discount, right? So if I could get this tux for like fifty-five dollars, I wouldn't mind. Like, am I crazy? Am I crazy too, guys? I don't really mind. It's probably just a showpiece. It's not. We for need sale. help. I really like this dress. I thought we wasn't doing nothing formal. Well, that's a gorgeous dress. How much is it? The dress is two hundred and thirty dollars. Two hundred and thirty dollars. You might think that's a lot, guys, right? But remember, these dresses on average might go for like a thousand, ten thousand dollars because people are crazy. So they've spent all this money on a wedding dress they only wear once, just for that that one day memory. I wouldn't mind doing this, honestly. Honestly, like I, I really wouldn't mind that much. But you know, I, it's so hard to say, you know, because you gotta be on the same page as your fiance and so on. So I could, I could buy use, I, I use um, maybe I belong on this show, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, maybe they need to come to my house and be like, Tommy, what do you do <laughs> to save money? You know what I mean? Maybe I'm crazy too. You know, two hundred and thirty dollars. Mm -hmm. This one's forty nine. If she tries to negotiate, then she's a real one. That's really <gasps> nice. Has a train. That's formal, though. I'm still... Right. I mean, where are you planning on wearing this at? Well... I think if we go to the, the Justice of Peach, you're going to get a whole lot of gawkers and it's like, what's wrong with her? Versus... Well, you know what? Well, how about this? You were going to go to the Justice of the Peace. Well, what... what is that? Justice of the Peace? What is that Justice of the Peace stuff? Is that like, just for example, just um, just signing the marriage proposal document thing? Is that is that what that what is? What if we did a wedding here? You know, I've seen people come in and buy engagement rings. A cheap wedding can just <laughs> as lovely as an expensive. And buy wedding dresses. And I've always wanted to see it just come together and actually happen in the store. <sighs> oh my gosh. This guy is like, what is going on here? Imagine, for example, guys, okay? Look, look at this, right? Look at this, look at this. Hey, um, where do you have your wedding? Just any tips or whatever? But yeah, I have my wedding at the um at the thrift store. That, that, that's my memory of the wedding right there. Doesn't matter. The answer is no. People people overthink things. You know, if you want to have a wedding in in the back of a garage, I really don't care. You don't have to spend so much money. I think the thing is we've been sold on so many ideas. The idea of spending ten thousand dollars in a wedding, going on the honeymoon. There's so many products, right? Think about it, right? You have catering. You have the venue. You have the wedding dress. You have the wedding, the your wedding dress, whatever for the guys. You have like the the broom people, whatever. You have all these expenses. You have the ring. You have the house. You gotta buy. There's so many products. So if you play their game and everything you've been sold, like, are you really gonna win? You know, what I'm I'm gonna have a very small wedding, guys. I'm not gonna spend that much money, honestly. I, I, I'm assuming I'm going to spend like less than $5,000 in that whole wedding thing, man. I, honestly, honestly. I think so. I think we should do this. My God. Do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Oh, my word. <laughs> this is fine. This is no, no, like, this is fine, right? This is fine. But what, like, okay. So where are the, where's like, is there like somebody taking pictures? Is there, for example, like maybe a photographer? Is is there like uh, where are the people, the invitees, and so on? You may now kiss the bride. It's not what I envisioned for us, but hey, that's my baby. She got what she wanted, and I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? If y'all both happy, guess what? I'm happy too. If y'all both happy, I'm happy too. Guys, I know this seems so strange, okay? But I really don't see a problem with any of this, and I think I got a problem, okay? Somebody call for help, okay? I think I got it wrong. Jimmy and I said I do at the Unclaimed Baggage Center. It was just a bargain that was too good to pass up. All right, guys, so that is the end of um, this episode here, okay? But overall, is that honestly, guys, okay, when, when I think about this stuff, I really don't see a problem with this lady. You know, the craziest thing she does is eating them nuts after people ate them, you know? That's the craziest thing here. But the wedding, like, it's just a lot of marketing. The dress, just a lot of marketing. You know, it's something I'm, I might I might send that video to my fiance, honestly, you know. By the end of today, I, I might not have a fiance. <laughs> Who knows, right? But 
I'm gonna do it. You know, I'm gonna do it. Not not like the venue. No, we'll probably have maybe like the. I I've, I've thought about like a beach setting, or a villa setting. Time is expensive. I, I I know, but I have connections. Like my uncle has connections, so potentially not that expensive. But um, I, I'm not gonna go crazy with that stuff, guys. I'm I'm just not. I'm sorry. I'm just not. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Comment down below. Let me know. Tell me you're going crazy or am I not going crazy? Comment down below what you think here. Do you agree with me? Is this really not that bad? Comment down below. Let me know. Okay, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified. On top of that, also destroy the like button. And if you guys want to call me one on one, talk to me one on one. Well, join me and ask me, Bryson, from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. where I take calls directly from you every single day from monday to friday so go over there and join me asap okay guys thanks for watching as always subscribe hit the bell if you want to dm me dm me right here on instagram time bryson and if you guys want to actually join me on patreon join me on patreon link down below courses will be coming soon and the people that are part of the patreon will get exclusive content first and will also get exclusive discounts also see you guys tomorrow thanks for watching and peace more content here my face is here click it see what happens